Hey girls, it's Olivia, and so today I'm going to be doing a video on my favorite feminine products. Well, favorite and least favorite. Pads, tampons, and liners. So yeah. I already tried to film this video and didn't really work because I got interrupted. Then I accidentally showed my face, so yeah. Okay, so least favorite liner is the... Yeah, I gotta do beauty girl style. Um, always extra protection. Um, these are like not flexible at all. And they're unwrapped, and they're just uncomfortable. Like... They do not dry, so especially, if, especially on like heavier discharge days, you can always feel it's so gross. I love tampon backup usually, just because I mean they're not that bad because most tampons don't leak, but some do. So I don't know, it's mixed bag, I guess. Favorites are the by Kotex Billy. They're always incredibly thin slash daily thin. They're, these are both like super absorbent, super super thin. Like they're so thin. Oh my gosh. Um, although this does have a lot of packaging, it does have the tab, which I really, really like. I think this one's pretty quiet. Oops. So yeah. At least for a tampon, it's Tampax Radiant. I hate these. They're so uncomfortable, and I almost always leak in them. So yeah, I'm going to try and give them another shot, because I just started my period, like, today, and I'm going to be doing a period vlog. So look out for that video. So yeah. Tampax Radiant. You can always, I can't. For me, I can always feel the string. They're kind of uncomfortable to take out because of the weird shape they go into. So yeah, sorry if you hate, like love these and all. It's just personal preference. Then favorites are Playtex for and Dubai Kotex Click, both regulars. They expand all the way around, so like usually don't leak. Then they both have like pretty slim applicators. Mostly the Dubai Kotex has a slimmer one, but they both they also both have pretty good grips. So yeah. And then, sorry, my camera fell. Then, um, favorite light, or least favorite light full pad is the Always Ultra Thin Slender. This is a really old packaging one, but, um, I also don't like the new ones. Just, they're, I mean, all Ultra Thin pads are okay. Like, I don't hate them. But I haven't found a pad I hate more. Or, I hate more. I haven't found a pad I actually hate, because I haven't tried that many. So, yeah, but, they're so small. Like, the new ones are so, so tiny. Um, and I'm not, like, a very small person. I'm not, like, fat, but I'm not, like, skinny. I'm, like, normal I guess but it's just too small I don't maybe for a light day or something but I don't really know otherwise then favorite light flow pad okay technically this is not a light flow pad but they've also like teen tween range so yeah y'all's radiant infinity totally teen love these they're so comfortable they absorb so much so yeah then we favorite regular flow pad they all just in regular flow without wings. I probably like it more if it had wings, just saying. I mean, I don't know. It's just not as comfortable, you know? You know what I'm talking about. You've tried those. Then, favorite, always Radiant Infinity. Regular. Ta da! Oh my god, they smell so good. Don't even judge me for smelling a pad. They smell so good though, like, I <laughs> have uh, problems. Then, least favorite, heavy flow pad. Sorry. Sorry, I just sneezed. Oh my gosh. Um, in case you're wondering what that was. So then, least favorite heavy flow pad. The always ultra thin heavy flow without wings. Once again, it'd probably be better if it had wings, but oh well. Not like bad, just not my favorite. So yeah. Favorite would be the always radiant thin heavy flow. It has wings and it smells so good. Once again. Oh my gosh. But yeah. It's also it, they're pretty big though, and I don't really I don't. I don't really like heavy flow pads just because they're really big. And then in the in between that would be the all infinity heavy flow. Just because it doesn't have wings. Like the one I have doesn't have wings. So when I run out, I'm definitely getting with wings. Then um I've only used one overnight pad, but I well okay. Wait, wait. Okay, I've only used one like specifically overnight pad, but I have used another pad for overnight. So yeah. So, least favorite pad to use for overnight is the Always Ultra Thin Heavy Flow. Okay, this is like really old packaging. I don't even, I, I didn't even know I had this. But I did. Oh my god. Just, oh my god. So, here it is. It's really big. This, is, this looks more like an overnight to me, to be honest. But, I don't know. That might just be me. So, yeah. 
it just okay i use this for overnight my first coming period and so i like leaked it was bad and it was awful it was awful oh my gosh but anyway so yeah they're also old packaging so yeah i don't really like them though like at all so yeah they're just not that comfortable they're not good for overnight so then favorite of my night pad well, for me personally, not good for overnight. I mean, they might be great for other people. Then, favorite overnight pads, the Ubi Cotex All Night Overnight. I don't know why it's not like cream overnight, but I'll show you the box in a sec. But yeah, I love the one. It's really, really big and like, okay, size comparison between these. This one got like, okay, it's like an inch longer, but it's way more comfortable. And I like the wings on the Ubi Cotex better than all this because they're really s small. And they're really, really soft, so yeah. So yeah, I love these, but um, yeah, so I'll show you the box quick. Like, it's kind of strange. Like, it doesn't say clean wear, which is like ultra thin, then overnight, and it doesn't say like clean wear on it. It's kind of weird. But yeah, like, see, look in the box here. So we have clean wear regular, clean wear heavy, and then just overnight. Well, overall, I mean, they still work really great. So yeah, thank you for watching. Bye!